Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about some locations that you need to check out, including secret shacks, treasure locations, and a whole lot more. And I'll be updating this as I find more and as more have been revealed. So let's start with those secret shacks. There's a couple of them scattered throughout the world. I think there's five of them, and all of them have like a different story or they have like some different little secret about them. Uh, in case you guys don't or didn't catch my first video or one of my first videos today about the you know shack that had the UFO mystery, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Well, there's another one that can actually be found and I might actually need your help figuring out what this mystery is. So this shack is located at the very southern portion of the map. So you might actually not get to this until a little bit later on. I'd say the city closest to it is Rhodes. It's also south of the Braithwaite Manor. And the name of the shack is called the Old Henry Finn. It's really on one of the most southern parts that you can get of the map. And it looks like it is this abandoned shack in the woods. It does not look like much is going on here. And I was able to find two interesting pieces. I found a photograph underneath the floorboard that looked pretty old. Uh, it looked like the photograph was taken at this house. It looked like a father, mother, and son. And then the only other picture or clipping I got was a reward for someone. So the post was slave catcher newspaper scrap, $200 reward, ran away from the subscriber on the night of the August 17th. Basically, it's a reward for apprehending and returning, it looks like the boy in the photograph, to the Rhodes Jail. Now, this boy, if he's still alive, is certainly not that age because, as you can see, that happens on April 28th, 1859. So he's, he's going to be grown at this point. So I don't know if we were supposed to look for the boy in the photo, where he would be. I looked throughout the entirety of the house and was only able to find some mild stuff, but needless to say, and at the end of the day, these secret shacks you want to look for because they give you cool stories like this. A lot of times there's Easter eggs attached to them or really good loot or gear that you're ultimately going to want to grab uh, in a little bit more. So those are the secret shacks. Do not underestimate them. Now, let's talk about some treasure maps. So you're going to get a lot of maps in this game. We uncovered one a little bit earlier. It was the serial killer map. Well, there's one treasure map called Chick's Treasure Map. As you guys can see here, this is actually what it looks like. And uh, it sort of gives an interesting description of where you're supposed to go. It gives a description of a hole in a tree and some other writing. Well, this is actually its location right here. It's to the east of Valentine. It is to the north of the Heartland Overflow. Uh, I'll just show you guys where it is on the map right here. This is what it is. You're looking for this tree with a hole in it and it's going to tell you where the treasure ultimately is. So if you have Chick's treasure map, then that is where her location is going to be. And then another common treasure map that some people have or have been getting is Jack Hall's gang map number one. And uh, it's sort of pointing to these giant stone figures as you guys can see right there. And you're ultimately going to need to go somewhere close to Valentine as well. It's just to the south. It's actually called Caliban's Seal or Seat, I think it is. I'm not too sure. Caliban's Sea, something like that. Uh, basically, you just want to climb on this rock structure and there it will be. So those are some treasure locations that you can check out. Again, just like with these secret shacks, I'm going to be sure to keep this updated as I find more or if more are discovered. Now, as always, if you would like to help contribute to our search, please do so by letting us know in the comments down below. That would be awesome. Or you can reach out to me on Twitter if you feel like that is easier. So we've discovered two out of the five secret shacks, probably more to come. And uh, I definitely think that those treasure maps are going to be a great way to get some like easy and fast money, which is so far been pretty hard to come behind. Now, I haven't done like a ton of the missions a little bit later on, but at least as of right now, this has been like a great way to grab some easy and extra cash and gear just by sort of doing like the side quests and exploring and stuff like that. So it's an important aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2. Do not ignore it. Uh, it's going to be seriously helpful for your adventure. So that's all the info I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. 
With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.